What's up, God's House peeps? I'm here with Erica Iyer. She is going to be, or she already is, the uh, God's Kids Children's Director. So she's going to be rocking it out. If you're a parent and you have kids downstairs, Erica is over all of our kids' ministry, and we're real excited to have her on board. Uh, Erica Iyer and Anthony and the kids are just part of our family here at God's House and part of Katar and I's family. And uh, we're always hanging out, and I'm excited to have Erica on as staff now. And uh, Erica, why don't you explain a little bit about how long you've been at God's House and and uh, what you're going to be doing okay. at God's House. We've been attending God's House for a little over 12 years. Our kids have literally been born here. They grow up here. Literally, like, <laughs> on the front pew. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would have been slightly embarrassing. Um, but Isaiah was the first, the first baby that God's House ever had here. He, oh, you know, there were crazy. no babies before that. Um, Isaiah and Ryan think the church is theirs. They, yeah. they live here. They... Um, think they can run the church. They do. Isaiah says when you guys are gone, he's in charge. So he's He's in charge when I'm there. (laughs) They're awesome. They're awesome. And so, yeah, so it's been a, it's been a really cool journey to see as a church, what we've been able to do with kids ministry and uh, allowing the kids to grow up. You know, our kids grew up at God's house as well, which is a really neat thing to see that impact that we've been able to have on kids. And so explain a little bit about what you're going to be doing with kids ministry and what that's going to look like uh, in the coming months. Basically, we just teach them about God and how they can apply that to their everyday lives. It's not just Bible stories and learning about Moses. It's learning about Moses' life and then how you can apply what he did to your own life so that even at a young age, you can learn to walk out your faith in an every day basis and we partner with the parents to teach the same things we've been teaching at home all week. We give out yeah. a parent cue paper and it discusses everything we talked about, has questions for them to ask and so they're not only learning it in church, they're learning it at home and That's they can see their thing. parents. That's a big thing because I think like a lot of times some parents think, well I'm just going to send my kids to church, they're going to learn about God. And then that's about all the kids get. And I, you know, we only have the kids for a short amount of time. And what we do is really important, but more of the time is spent at home. And so what you're talking about in partnering with parents, if you're a parent out there and you have kids and your kids go down to kids ministry, let me tell you something. Like Erica was saying, we don't babysit the kids. We don't just kind of give them a coloring page and say, color this and you know, this is this is who God is. We really try to teach them principles that they can live out their faith. And and that's that's important for me as a pastor to know. And also as a parent, you know, our our kids, Katar and I's kids grew up at God's house. And I know your kids grew up at God's house. I was looking through old pictures and I was seeing like little Isaiah when he was like real little at God's house. And I think, you know, our kids have been able to grow up at God's house. They've learned about the love of God. They've learned about grace. And what's cool for me, and I think I know like what gives me passion with our kids' ministry is being able to see our kids now love people and now accept people. Right. And uh, and that's such a big thing, you know. Uh, can you kind of share a little bit about like what you've seen in kids' ministry and why, why that passion is kind of growing in you to, to do that with the kids? I have seen pe- kindergartners take what we teach and go to school and live out what we learned about. And it's then huge. they come back the next week and they're so excited to tell us. Yeah. You know, they'll say things like, I sat with a kid at school today who everybody makes fun of mm. because that's what Jesus wants me to do. Right. Very simple concepts. They're learning, learning how to live it out. And really it builds the foundation for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Because if you can teach a five-year-old to accept people just like God does, when you're 25, you're going to accept people just where God is. Yeah, yeah. And you'll be showing them their love, God's love, through everything you do. Yeah, and that's, you know, again, for me, that's that's everything. What, you know, what we do as a ministry is important with all the programming and everything. You know, why we do it is because we, what the message that we have about Christ and living for God transforms people and and to be able to lay that foundation for kids and what I love is the curriculum that we use the orange curriculum and uh, in partnering with parents and being able to see a a child that from the time they're in nursery to the time they 
grow up to be an adult, there's this connection between all the ages and grades that they go through so that they never miss a beat, you know, and then also just being able to have a blast, you know, right. downstairs. A uh, couple things real quick before we end the interview. What's a couple of things that are fun that the kids get to do uh, downstairs? Yes. Yeah. We always play the most craziest, insane games that somehow always make it an application game, right. whether it's throwing marshmallows at somebody's face with shaving cream on it to learn about revenge, how mm. that person would feel if you just got shaving cream and marshmallows in your face, <laughs> <laughs> or just um, competitions and learning how to not be a sore loser, right. learning how to just be a really good representation of Christ and the things that he wants from us. Um, we play the most insane games digging through peas to learn about peace right just that's cool you know making lemonade in your mouth to just learn about trying your hardest when things are hard because obviously putting lemons in your mouth is really hard that's really and cool so we just do a lot of fun games like that i know i know as as we're doing this Qatar is down there thinking that i need to go downstairs and learn the whole lesson about a sore loser because <laughs> i think <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to skip a Sunday and uh, head downstairs and then learn about, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll skip the part where they're throwing the marshmallows at my face or whatever it is. But uh, no, but thank you so much for your time and, and thank you guys for watching. Again, we're excited to have Eric on at staff here at God's House and partnering with parents and letting you know that we're adding value to what you do as, as a parent and trying to raise your kids to know about God. So thanks so much. Erica, we're excited about having you on. Thanks. Yep. We'll see you back next time, guys.